friends, welcome back to Food Prep Guide. We are out in the garden today and we have a lot of cleanup and prep work to do to get ready for uh, springtime. I have some helpers, as you can see, and some not so helpers. We are going to show you how to install a cattle panel trellis. This is for the use of vertical gardening. You can grow a lot more food if you grow up instead of out. And we have two trellis tunnels here and we need to extend it by one trellis on each side. But we'll just show you one for today. Uh, we garden a lot of different ways in this one garden. And when it comes to our trellises, we don't till, we don't dig. We're just going to lay cardboard out on the ground and we learned last year that it's a lot easier to lay the cardboard down first and then put your trellis in as, as opposed to scooching that cardboard underneath the trellis after it's already installed, which is what we did for years. It's ridiculous. I don't know what took us so long to figure that out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out the cardboard on either side of the trellises and that's what's going to give us our base. It's going to cover the weeds and then we're going to put like compost and soil on top of that. But we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's get this cardboard down. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we have that first trellis down. You can see we have cardboard down lined up with the end of the trellis here. So the end of the trellis goes down there, and then we have cardboard all along that line. I am not a good filmographer. I'm trying to get it all in there to show y'all. Um, but uh, the next step is we're going to carry in the cattle panel trellis and start the actual install. Uh, what we need for this is the cattle panel. We need something to hold the cattle panel down into the ground. We're going to be using uh, three, in, three foot T-post. I think one of them might be four foot, but you can also just use rebar. Then we're going to use wire and some wire snips and we'll just cut off about a uh, 10 or 11 inch piece of wire and tie a knot around those T-posts and uh, we'll show you that in just a second. Okay, next step is I'm going to uh, hammer with a uh, sledgehammer these posts down into the ground. I'm going to put them straight into the cardboard so that uh, there's no weeds showing on either side of the, pa of the cattle panel trellis. And I'm going to do my best to line it up with this existing one uh, right here. Okay, so we drove our poles in, we got our trellis up, now it's just time to secure the trellis to the poles just to give it some extra stability. For this we're just going to use a spool of wire and then just wire snips and we're just going to wrap it around the pole probably two or three times and then twist it to get a good knot and we'll just do that on all four poles. I'm going to do it um, I don't know if you can quite tell on the camera, but where this, uh, where the cattle panel forms like a cross, I'm going to go around that cross and around the pole, kind of diagonally so it's not going, it can't move to right or left or up or down. I'm just going to wrap it around once, twice, and then just start twisting it as tight as I can. And since this is where I'm going to be planting, I'm just going to move these pokies, these leftover wires, towards the back so nobody pokes themselves when they're planting. <laughs> One more on this pole. Come where the metal rod meets the cross. Go around back. Come around front twist it tight. All 
I'm just going to do that on all four poles and we will be done. I'll show you the finished product in just a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, Tally. Okay. Here we are. The paddle, cattle, the paddle panel. Hmm. The cattle panel is now installed. And as you could see, I hope you were able to see that it really went up quickly. Um, this is just an excellent way to grow. The next step is going, we're going to come in here and lay compost, or excuse me, I'm going to get a water hose and I'm going to soak this cardboard just as thoroughly as I can. Uh, alternatively, you can plan this a day before heavy rain, which is, is going to be raining almost all day tomorrow. So I might not have to do that hand watering by myself, but soak the cardboard. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to lay compost and then I'm going to lay a layer of soil on top. To where I can match this which if we move these leaves you'll see that there is soil um, underneath those leaves and then that those leaves are just acting as a mulch and when I go to plant I will plant a seed on every everywhere the metal bar meets the ground a seed is going to go you can see how you can grow a lot of food vertically taking taking that vertical space and making the best use out of it. Okay, I have one more cattle panel to install and we will be done. Hope y'all enjoy. See y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.